You might have heard about Ethereum working to move from consensus based on proof of work to one based on proof of stake. In this video, we'll cover the main differences between proof of work and proof of stake. We'll also briefly cover a definition of mining, the process through which new coins are released to the network. Proof of work requires nodes on the network to perform a complex mathematical puzzle, also called mining, as a way of verifying the legitimacy of transactions on the network. This mathematical puzzle has a key feature, asymmetry. The work must be hard for the miner to solve, but easy for the network to check. All the network miners compete to be the first to find a solution through brute force that requires a huge number of attempts. As a reward for verifying these transactions, they're paid cryptocurrency from the network. Once verified, the transactions are placed in a block and appended to the public blockchain. The difficulty of this puzzle increases proportionally to the amount of computing power in the network that is working on the puzzles. That is to say, the more miners there are, the more difficult the network makes it to verify transactions and earn the reward. The competitive nature of the difficulty increase incentivizes miners to optimize their ability to solve the puzzle, and thus, optimize their ability to verify transactions. This makes maintaining the integrity of the network a competitive system with rewards for those that do it well. In order to take over the network, one would have to control 51% of the computing power of the network. Given how large major blockchains are, that would be incredibly difficult, though not impossible. So what is proof of stake, and how is it any better? Proof of stake is still an algorithm, and the purpose is the same as proof of work, but the process is quite different. Unlike proof of work, where the algorithm rewards miners who solve a mathematical problem that creates a new block, the creator of a new block is chosen from a pool of users that have staked a certain amount of cryptocurrency. This means that in the proof of stake system, there is no puzzle to complete, and so no reward for doing so. Instead, the miners take a fee from every transaction. This also means that because nobody is competing to solve every block, there's no massive energy requirement. The penalty for trying to harm the network is the possibility of losing the money you've staked, which could easily be upwards of $10,000. In order to take over a proof of stake network, one would need to own 51% of the supply of the cryptocurrency on that chain. This would be a prohibitively expensive undertaking for any major network and is less likely to happen than controlling 51% of the computing power, something that can already be achieved by mining pools. Proof of work miners need a lot of energy to solve their puzzle. Verifying one Bitcoin transaction with proof of work requires the same amount of electricity as 1.57 American households use in a day. Proof of stake lifts the massive energy requirement from the network in favor of a monetary penalty for bad actors. Developers worried about this energy problem want to switch to the proof of stake method for a greener and cheaper form of consensus.